What up and welcome to Rama Screen YouTube channel and here's my review of Netflix new series Territory. Let's rock this. Okay, so this show has been described as the Australian version of Yellowstone series. You remember Yellowstone, right? Popular Kevin Costner show. And so to that I say, after having watched the entire Territory episodes, yes, the comparison is reasonable. Meaning... I totally get why people would describe it that way. But keep in mind that this is not a Yellowstone spin-off. Taylor Sheridan has nothing to do with territory. And I'm guessing the creators of territory are, you know, they're probably just big fans of Yellowstone and thought to themselves, huh, we could do something similar here, which is totally fine. But for the record, this video review will not be about Oh, Territory did not do what Yellowstone did, and therefore, eh, nope, nope. I am just judging Territory solely based on its own merit, and not based on how it is compared to Yellowstone. So now that we got that clear, what's my overall verdict? Territory is freaking awesome! It's rough and tough, it's compelling, it's sweeping, and you know what? This is not just neo-western. This is Australian neo-western. It's the down under outback, baby. And the show goes above and beyond to capture the raw, rugged beauty of that specific region that only those who know the land like the back of their hand can navigate their way around it. Created by Ben Davis and Timothy Lee in territory, formerly titled Desert King. When the world's largest cattle station is left without a clear successor, generational clashes threaten to tear the Lawson family apart. Sensing this once great dynasty is in decline, the Outback's most powerful factions, rival cattle barons, desert gangsters, indigenous elders, and billionaire miners move in for the kill. Starring Anna Torf, Michael Dorman, Sam Corlett, Sarah Weisman, Jay Ryan, and Robert Taylor. Just as expected, yes, there's power struggle drama, there's family drama, there's a love triangle, there's even a drama about the indigenous versus the white fellas. But does any of those ever get too melancholic? I would argue no. I would argue that it's just the right amount of prime time soap opera vibe with just enough intensity, conflict, and some good old-fashioned gunfire shootouts. There are only six episodes in this first season, and the writers made sure that the final episode has some lingering question that will make you beg for another season. If the powers that be at Netflix would allow it, the pacing is great, the story is engaging, and the character dynamics are so complex and captivating. Now, Longmire fans, where are you at? Let me see ya. Hell yeah. I'm sure you'll tune into Territory because of the legendary Robert Taylor, who, by the way, has come back into his Western elements. Only this time, he's ditching the American accent for his own native Aussie grunt. As the hard-to-please patriarch Colin Lawson, Robert acts and talks and moves like a stubborn old bull and still has that commanding presence about him. There's a lot of moving components in territory, but at the heart of it is this intricately woven exploration of different ideas on how to take Marianne's station into the future and who should bear the responsibility of accomplishing that task. The narrative carries with it a lot of grit and vulnerability and depth and authenticity. Each of the characters has something to prove and something to lose and you find yourself fully immersed in all these deep-seated societal, racial, and legacy confrontations. Now, where's my fellow Fringe fans at? Let me see ya. Hell yeah. God, Anna Torf still looks beautiful after all these years, doesn't she? And on territory, as Colin's daughter-in-law, Emily Lawson, who comes from a rival family, Anna gives a stoic yet nuanced performance. But Anna nor Robert are, I mean, neither of them are the lead really because this is more of a big cast ensemble piece consisting of some of today's prolific Australian thespians. And so there's plenty to go around in terms of the motivations of why all these characters want to have their say on the fate of the station. There's blood in the water and the sharks are circling it like crazy. The location and the cinematography are absolutely breathtaking, and there's something so grand and exciting about their 
cattle mustering scene, which is very well executed. On the one hand, you have these sprawling landscapes. And on the other hand, you have these emotional, intimate human connections. It's a powerful visual storytelling combo. Listen, if you still insist on comparing territory to Yellowstone, I can tell you right now, Taylor Sheridan's writing quality is far more superior. But that doesn't mean what Ben and Timothy created here is trash. No, not at all. Which is why I hope you watch Territory with fresh eyes and solely for what the show provides or offers. So yeah, overall I give Territory the rating of 4 out of 5. Gorgeous backdrop, solid performances, a well thought out riveting story. This is an astonishing look at modern Australian cowboys.